everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how to make these envelope boxes. So I make so many cards and some of them are quite 3D and they don't always fit into just a normal envelope. So I make these box ones. But what I'm finding is that when I am maybe making another tutorial and then I'm using, for example, this box, I'm telling you guys to go and check out that tutorial and you've got to skip to certain parts of it and it's just... It could be easier. So what I've decided to do is do this tutorial which is just going to be on how to make these envelope boxes. Now I'm making the 6x6 and the 5x7 so you're going to see me make this one here and some of you might recognise this card. I actually found it. I totally forgot I still had this. It's a beautiful card. absolutely love this one. Thank you card. Um, and as you can see it's got a lot of dimension. So that's why I needed to make this box. So I'm going to make this one here with the lid but then I'm also going to make the 6x6 with the lid kind of opening from the top okay so you've got two versions of six by six and a, and this is the other version that i was just saying so that's where it opens at the top so you're going to get a six by six in this and a six by six in this version and again the same you'll get a five by seven in this and then this five by seven version and it just means that you can just come to this tutorial rather than hunting through other videos and it'll be easier for me to use this as a reference as well so first of all, I'm going to make the separate lid boxes. So this is a 5x7 and the 6x6. So if you want to make a 5x7, you're going to need a piece of cardstock that's 7 and a quarter by 9 and a quarter, and then a piece of cardstock that is 6 and 3 quarters by 8 and 3 quarters. This piece is for your lid, okay? So this smaller piece, first of all, you want to score, make sure I get mine all correct, at 3 quarters of an inch and six inches and that's along the six and three quarter side okay then rotate it along the longer side and again you're going to score at three quarters of an inch and at eight okay so that's all you need to do for the lid then for the base so you've cut it to that size which was seven and a quarter by nine and a quarter but then you want to take a little slither off of two of the sides okay and this is the easiest way for you to make these boxes so that you get a really nice kind of closure. Now when I mean a slither, I literally mean if you use one of your little markers on the, the ruler part here, it's just one of the little notches. So I'm just going to line this up here and you can see there what I've cut off. Okay, it's not quite one eighth of an inch, it's probably just a little bit shy of that. And again there. And you're just doing that off of two sides. So it's easier for me to give you that simple measurement and then you cut off those little bits. Okay, and then grab your scoreboard. And you're going to score at one inch on all four sides. And now by taking those little pieces off of the two sides, it will allow this base to fit nicely underneath the lid. So next you want to fold and burnish all of your score lines. Okay, so I'm going to use the lid first. This is the smaller of the two and your lid will have a three quarter of an inch side whereas your base will have the one inch and that's going to give us that nice depth so that we can, you know, add lots of embellishments to our cards. So I'm just going to bring in my other scissors here. So along the short side here I'm just cutting up those two score lines just to that first one there and then rotate it and do the same again so you're just snipping up to that score line okay and then with the four squares in each corner just take a little wedge off of each one and that will just help you conceal those pieces so you haven't got anything overhanging okay so that's what you should now have for your lid for your base you're going to do exactly the same thing so again along the short side here just going to cut up like so and take the whole thing round and then again take little wedges off of all of those sides okay next we need to glue this all together so i'm just going to bring in some of my liquid glue here into each of the corners and then bring it down and around so you can bring the other side over Okay, just hold that there for a second and then go to the next one, bring it down and under. Again, just hold it there and then repeat on the other end. 
Okay, so now we have our base, so we've got that tray. And then for the lid, you want to do exactly the same again. So just add some glue to all of those tabs. Okay, so that's the lid all done, and now that should fit nice and snug over the top, like so. And because this one's shorter, it allows you to be able to pull that off nice and easily. Now the finished size of this is five and a quarter by seven and a quarter. I've done them slightly higher and wider because it allows you to have any kind of little detail overhanging on the card. And also if anybody does do something slightly bigger than six, um, than by five by seven, it will fit nicely into this. So that is your five by seven gift box envelope. Now I'm gonna give you the measurements for the six by six and construct it in, in exactly the same way. Okay, so for the six by six for your lid, you want a piece that's seven and three quarters squared, okay? And for the base, you want a piece that's eight and a quarter squared, okay? So for the lid, you want to score, which is that seven and three quarter squared piece, you're gonna score at three quarters of an inch on all four sides, okay? So because this is a square, it's even easier than the other one. Oh, gone off a little bit there. There we go. Okay, and then for the base, you want to do the same thing again. So we need to bring in our trimmer and we're just going to take that same kind of slither off of two of the sides. Again, there's my pieces. And then grab your scoreboard again and you want to score at one inch on all of the four sides. Okay, again, fold and burnish. Okay, and then you're going to cut exactly the same way. So you can choose any like opposite sides now. It doesn't matter because they're all the same, but you're just going to cut down and down and then rotate it all the way around and down and down. Do that on this one and then take the little wedges off of all of the squares as I did with that five by seven version. Okay, so there I've cut all of those the same and then you're going to add your glue to the tops and fold them all in exactly the same way as I did for the 5x7. Okay, so there's those two done and again it will fit on nice and snug like so. Okay, so now you have a six by six and a five by seven gift box envelope. And so now any of my cards that I make, so I always make my cards in either six by six or five by seven, you know that you will have a nice size envelope for them. So that's that style with the lid that's separate. Then I'll show you how to make the one with the kind of flip lid. Okay, so to make the five by seven flip lid gift box or envelope box, you'll need a piece of cardstock that's seven and a quarter by nine and a quarter and another piece that is seven and a quarter by nine and three quarters. Okay, so with the smaller piece, along the seven and a quarter side, you want to score at one inch and again at six and a quarter. So this will be one inch um, in depth, just like the other ones. Then rotate your cardstock and again score at one inch and at eight and a quarter. So what you should have is a one inch section on all four sides, okay? Then with the slightly larger piece, so again along the seven and a quarter side, you want to score at one inch and at six and a quarter, and then rotate and again score at one inch, eight and a quarter, but then nine and a quarter. So you've got that extra score line and this piece here, this half inch piece is going to be our little kind of tab to lock in that flip lid, okay? So that is the five by seven. Then you want to fold and burnish all of your score lines. Okay, so I've got my two pieces. Now, the one where you've got that extra half inch piece, okay, so it'd be the longer piece, because they're both the same width, that's gonna be the back of the box. So this is the front. So we'll say this is the top, I'm gonna turn it around, and you wanna cut down those two score lines. It doesn't matter what end you've chosen at this point, because they're both the same, okay? But now, we're gonna remove this whole middle piece. So if you just tuck down one of those, I'm actually going to bring in my longer scissors now and then just cut really neatly because this will all be exposed right the way along to the very end there. 
I need to sharpen my scissors. There we go. Okay, so that is now going to be the top. When it goes in, these are going to be our side pieces. So now this is the base. So again, you just want to cut up. Like so. And then you're going to take a little wedge off of both of those. Like so. So that's what you should have for the front of this box. Then for the back, so this half inch piece is the top and then you've got a one inch and a half inch like so. The bottom you'll just have that one inch. So you want to cut up both of these. Okay. Now because we've kept them on this one we need to remove them on this one. So you just want to cut those squares out completely. Okay. And then again along the very top here, flip it around. You've got your half inch line and then your one inch. You're going to cut down both of them. And again, because we've kept them in here, we want to remove it completely. So now you can see what I've removed, that whole square, but also this top piece. So again, you can see it all here. We're removing that and the square. So just cut all the way down and remove that completely. Okay, so you have two pieces like this and this one will be slightly taller by half an inch because that's our little kind of bit that we're going to, like I said, seal the box up with. So with that piece there, you just want to take a very small sliver off of the edge, not too much because if you take too much off it will pop, pop out, it won't lock in. And again, with these pieces here, just take a very, very small amount. So not as much as you take off of those, you just want to take a, a small bit. And if you find it doesn't close properly, it's too tight, then you can just take some more off when we put it together. So it's best to just take a little bit, you can always take more off. Okay, and then what's going to happen, so the base, so the piece that's got that half inch, you're going to turn over and kind of fold up like that, and then this will all fold in, and we're going to glue it, and kind of hug the one below. Okay, and then those two pieces will go in, and the box will close. Okay, but like I said, we'll do that when we get to it. So, what I would say first of all is glue the bottom pieces on the front piece, and get them stuck down, and then you can glue all the rest together. So I'm just going to pop it underneath this one here. Okay, and then you can go and add glue on all of these three sides here. Okay, and I'm going to flip this one over and I'm going to oh, pop it all inside. If you want to do it bit by bit you can, but I find if you just get it all in and then it's easy then to just go in with a ruler and you can just kind of push everything down, smooth all the sides down and just line it all up. Okay, so there you have your five by seven just fold those bits in a bit more. What you might have to do is just take, actually could have done with taking a little wedge off of the top pieces there. I'll show you on the six by six because you'll get a bit of bulk like I've got here, but you can just go in and just trim that. But before you do it, you see there where it's kind of gone over? Just bring it up and you can just trim that off. Okay, and now those will fold in nicely. Okay, so if you've got any bulk there, just trim it off. And now, the lid will close. And you want it to slot in, you want it to be tight. If you feel it's too tight, then do trim a little bit more off. But that is your five by seven flip top envelope box. And again, the final size of this is five and a quarter by seven and a quarter. So now I'm just gonna give you the measurements for the six by six. Okay, so you're gonna need one piece that's eight and a quarter by eight and a quarter, and then one piece that's eight and a quarter by eight and three quarters. Again, exactly the same process as before, you've got that extra half inch piece. So with your eight and a quarter by eight and a quarter piece, you wanna score on all four sides at one inch. And then on the other piece, you wanna score along the eight and a quarter side at one inch and seven and a quarter. Then rotate and score at one inch, seven and a quarter and eight and a quarter. And that will give you that half inch piece here. Okay, so that's all the scoring, and again, you want to fold and burnish all of those score lines. Okay, so starting with the front piece, so the smaller piece, again, exactly the same way as the 5 by 7 you're going to cut up the two there, and then rotate and cut down 
these ones here. Decide what's your top or your bottom because at this point obviously it doesn't matter because they're all the same. So this is going to be the top, so this whole piece here we're going to remove. So like I did before, fold that one down. I'm just going to bring in my longer scissors. You want to cut that whole piece out. And then you just want to take little wedges off of the bottom one. So the one, the bottom is the one with this piece still on. Okay. The top is this one, and again, just take very, very small slithers off. You don't need to take a lot. Slithers, wedges. <laughs> I always name it different, something different. Mitre. There we go. Okay, so that's the front of our box. Then this piece, which is the back, that half an inch extra piece that you've got is the top, okay? So the bottom here, you're going to cut up those two again. But this time, because we've kept the squares on that one, again, you want to remove them on this one. Okay, so again, now that's the bottom all done, flip the whole thing around, and you're going to remove both those sections from here like so and what I didn't do on that one and I had that little bit of buckling on the tops of these ones here just take a wedge off like so so we've got a slight angle now on these ones there's that half inch piece there's a slight angle there so that when this wraps over and folds in it won't catch on the top okay so next, you just want to glue, so this is that front piece with that piece cut out, glue these pieces to each other first. Okay, and then again, I'm just going to add glue to all of these sides. And just fold in all of those pieces and it will just sit in inside that one. And then just with your ruler, make sure all your sides are stuck down. Okay, and then fold that down and lock in your lid. There we go. Another nice 6x6 six six box envelope. So there you have it, two different styles. And I think it's going to help out a lot of you because many people message me and say that you've made this card and you need an envelope that's going to be big enough. So I think one inch is plenty. I don't think I've ever made any card with dimension higher than an inch. But, um, you know, you can obviously adapt them if you need to. But I love these ones here. I think they're nice for real special occasion ones. You can add ribbons and obviously decorate these, you know, as much as you want. And then you've also got the ones there with the flip lid, which are handy for if you're doing, um, I would say, like a gift card set. So if you've got a box of, you know, cards that you want to give to someone, you could put quite a few cards in there. And again, with the 5 by 7 size, but also just if you prefer to make that style. Yeah, so I hope you find this video useful. I hope you can use it now as a reference. I will use this video a lot. So when I'm making cards now, I will always kind of use this one um, and direct you to it so that you can make the envelopes to obviously present and finish your cards off, you know, nicely. So yeah, until next time, guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye.